Hey, Donovan here, and I've got a really, really quick video for you guys today. I'm going to go through whether or not you should use lead forms or website leads when advertising on Facebook. This was a really, really good question asked by somebody in my group on Facebook. So I'm going to go ahead and answer it best I can today. If you don't know who I am, my name is Donovan. I'm the CEO of Dro Digital. We help martial arts schools add a load more members to their school through you know advertising through acquisition systems and yeah we, we we just help martial arts schools grow cool i'm gonna get straight into the video i don't like to beat around the bush i'd like to just jump straight into it so today we're going to cover whether or not i recommend lead forms or website leads when advertising on facebook now if you don't know the difference between them two now i'd just like to say first of all this website here that i took a screenshot from this one here I don't work with this client. I just typed in uh, martial arts schools near me and clicked on the first website that came up. And what I can say is this website, this example of a website is a very, very good website um, to use um, because it's it's a really, really good website, to be fair. So I've just clicked on this one. This isn't a client of mine. Um, I've just took one straight off of Google. Cool. So if I go over here, so lead forms look like this. When people click on them on Facebook, They'll go through, they'll give you their name, their email address, and their phone number, and you have contact details that you can then message them, have a conversation with them, and then book them in for a class. Now, websites look more like this. Obviously, people would click on your ad that go through to this website, and then from here, they'd scroll through, and then maybe they could look at the information, or chances are they're just going to want to go ahead and book that trial class. So the reason why I say this is a really, really good example is because when I've come through to this website straight away, like straight away, I can see how I could go ahead and book a class for my child. It's very, very easy to do that. So straight away, I've come through to this website. I've just clicked on their ad, let's say. I've gone through to this website. It says Korean martial arts in Tamworth, uh, book a trial lesson. If I click on book a trial lesson, oh, it takes me through to sending them an email. Okay, so that's not something I'd recommend. So what I'd want realistically is I'd want to click book a trial lesson and then be able to book it straight through the website. You'll want to go ahead and send an email because that just makes things a, a little bit more difficult. Um, so this website on the face of it is really, really good, but you'd want to click on it and be able to just book that class straight away. Otherwise, I'd, I'd recommend using lead forms. But I'm going to go through it and then dive into the benefits of both. Cool. So that's obviously what a lead form looks like, and that's what a website looks like. Now, when we're on Facebook and we're running Facebook ads, we can either use lead forms, get people's details, or we can send them through to our website. I'm going to go through the benefits of them both. So the main benefits of lead forms is number one, there's no load up time. So lead forms are stored on Facebook. So people don't need to go to a separate browser. So if someone clicks on your ad, they go through to the lead form instantly. Like there's no load up, load up time, it goes straight through to it. So you're not gonna lose prospects there. However, if you're trying to send people to a website that takes a little bit of time to load up, people might click and then wait five seconds, it still hasn't loaded, and then they'll just click off and carry on scrolling through Facebook. So you can lose a lot of your leads by sending people to a website. Now, another positive of lead forms is they're super quick and easy, and they pre-populate. So not only does it load quickly, but people's name, their email address, and their phone number comes up automatically. Facebook has this data, these details already. So all they need to do is literally click confirm or answer any additional questions that you're asking, and then click confirm. They don't have to write out their name, they don't have to write out their email, and they don't have to write out their phone number. It pre-populates, which means you're gonna get a higher volume of leads coming through through your lead forms. They are easy to track. So one of the issues with Facebook is when you send people to a website, an external source, um, people have to use a pixel um, to, well, you'd have to download a pixel and put it on your website and actually track the people who come through. You don't have to do that with lead forms. So it's a lot easier to set up. And then on top of that, even when you've set your pixel up, one of the main issues with the Facebook pixel is it doesn't, it doesn't get everybody who comes through because of the latest iOS update. So because of the iOS update, it means that some people will click on your ad. They'll go through to the page and then maybe click back off it. And you can't actually track that they actually came through to the page. Or maybe they become a lead and you can't track that they actually became a lead from the ad. Look, it's, it's a bit more difficult to track. Lead forms are a lot easier to track than websites. Um, another one, this is a big one that no one really speaks about that I think is, is a big deal. We actually get feedback when we use lead forms. So if I use a lead form for a martial arts school and someone becomes a lead and then I message them and have a conversation with them and then they say, your classes are too far away from me. 
And then I have a conversation with someone else and they say the same thing. And then I have a conversation with someone else and they say the same thing. I'll quickly realize that there's a problem with my ad and it's targeting too far from where I am. So I'll get that feedback from my prospects and then I can make the necessary change to make the ad better and get better results. That's not something we can do if we just send people to our website. So you've got to think, if I click through to this website here and this was from an ad and then I click book trial lesson and it goes to just book me in, um, but nobody's booking through, we're not getting a feedback. So what I mean by that is if a lead comes through a lead form and I have a conversation with them and they don't book in because something puts them off, they'll tell me what that is. So, you know, you're too far away or Wednesdays don't work for me and you only do Wednesdays. Like they give me that feedback and then it's up to me to choose what I do with that feedback. However, if we just send people to a website and we don't have any sort of interaction or conversation with the prospects, people might click through to this website and then click back off, click through to the website, click back off. And then you go onto your website and you think maybe people aren't clicking and booking a trial because this button should be higher up. Or maybe the colors, just people don't like the colors or you'll try and make changes, but you don't know what the change is that's going to actually make an effect when really people are clicking on it and they're looking at your location and then they're saying, oh, I'm not based in Tamworth and you're advertising too far. So they're just clicking back off and you start making changes to your website, thinking that people aren't becoming leads because your website's not good enough when really your ads just not targeting. Right. So by targeting lead forms and having conversations with people, yes, it's manual work, but it means we actually get that feedback and we find out why people aren't booking in. We can fix that and then get people booking in. Hope that makes sense. Cool. And then the other one is it actually has a higher conversion rate than a landing page. Now, I don't mean a show up rate. I mean, it has more people who actually, you know, give you their details um, than a landing page or a website lead does. So those are my main benefits for a lead form. There's, of course, negatives that come with them. Um, number one, a lot of my clients before working with us notice that there's a lot of time wasters when advertising through lead forms. So a lot of people where you start having conversations with them and they say, I'm not interested anymore. I don't remember filling out a form or just a, a few different, you know, issues. I'm sure you can think of some that you've had yourself. Um, and then another thing is it takes no real time to complete. So, you know, people have a lower interest level. It's auto populated. Like all of these things mean we're going to get more people come through, which is great. But is their interest level going to be really high if it only took them 30 seconds to do it? I don't know. That's 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 kind of the argument against lead forms. So those are my two main things that I don't like about lead forms. Um, we actually have fixed both of these with our service. Um, but if you don't have our sort of integrations in place, then these are some of the things that, you know, our, our clients have, have mentioned that they've had in the past that they didn't like lead forms about. Cool. Now. These are the main benefits of website leads. So the main benefits of website leads is usually a lot of people have their website integrated with like a CRM and, and things like that, which means when someone books a class, they get an email straight away confirming that they've been booked into the class. They get a reminder through email and they get another reminder through email and everything's integrated. And then it shows up on your CRM that you're supposed to be expecting them. Look, everything's integrated to which basically means you don't need to do anything manually. That's what I'm trying to say. So you don't need to do anything manually. So they'll book in. You don't need to do anything manually. You'll get let know that they're going to turn up and then they get an email letting them know that it's all confirmed. They show up at the class. All you need to do is greet them. So you don't need to do anything. So that's why a website, sending people to the website can be quite attractive. Um, it also takes longer to do. So for someone to actually go to the efforts, go onto your website, wait for it to load, um, book in for a class, give you all their details manually, like it takes longer for them to do that. So they'd have to have a higher interest level to go to all that trouble, which means you're probably gonna have a higher show up rate as well. Um, there's no manual work required, as I said. So, you know, they could go through all the integrations, they book in for the class, they do all that. You don't need to manually phone them. You don't need to manually talk to them. You don't need to do any of that. You can just wait till they turn up. So I can see why that would be attractive as well. Um, and we can share more info. I, I don't I don't actually know what I meant by that. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. <laughs> so those are the three main positives of website leads for me. Um, and, and when I speak to martial arts school owners, it's the main reasons why they use websites. Now, the negatives are most websites are confusing. Now, I'm just being honest. Most martial arts schools who I see, like their websites aren't, aren't as good as this one. So this one, as I said, when we click on this, for some reason it opens up an email. Like, I don't know why I'm going to email the, the school. Like, I don't think that's, that's a, a positive realistically. I think it'd be better if you clicked on here and it just took you through to actually booking a class. 
um so so but the website itself this website looks really really good now what a lot of people make the mistake of when it comes to a website is we click onto a website and there's just loads of information so there's loads of information here loads of information here loads of information here loads of information here talking about how long the martial arts school owners had a black belt um talking about the champions they've had like all this information and finding a button to actually book in for a class is is very very difficult and that's not how it should be a website should be very clear very easy like this so you know it's quite clear what you need to do to actually book a class this is a really really good looking website most martial arts school owners websites don't look like this at all they are very very wordy they're very very confusing so you'll send people to your website they'll look around for 10 seconds get confused and, and go away and then we haven't had any feedback as to why they've gone away so that's one of the main issues with with websites um there's no feedback when it's not working so as i said because we're not speaking to anyone people could go through to our website they might actually be too far away it might be that they can't find the booking button it, you don't know what the issue is as to why you're not getting leads because you're not speaking to people we can do that with lead forms we can have conversations with people and they can say look you're too far away from me and we get that feedback and then we can make a change it's hard to track through facebook yes we can put the pixel on the website but they don't track 100 percent of the people who come through which means you could think some ads aren't working that actually are working and it means that yeah you, you can just be confused cool we get a much lower quality no sorry quantity of people who actually come through because it's a lot harder to do lot like lead forms because they populate so quickly we get more people coming through um so we might get a higher quality but maybe we might literally get one or two bookings as opposed to like 100 leads you know what i mean like it's 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 probably better in some ways um in terms of quality to go for a website but in a lot of ways we might get a much lower quantity especially especially if the website isn't clean and crisp like this website here cool um and then we do actually have a so let me get rid of that so one other be benefit that i would say of a website is i'd say they probably have a higher show up rate and the reason why they probably have a higher show up rate is because people have to obviously put the effort in so higher show up rate cool so those are the positives and negatives for website leads and lead forms i'm going to talk a little bit now about what it is that we actually do and why i think it, it works so well so lead forms are my personal favorite and the reason for that is we can get a very very high volume of leads coming through so sending people to websites sending people to external sources there's multiple issues that could arise for example the website could take ages to load we don't get a feedback so we don't know why people aren't actually becoming leads or aren't booking in but there's just a few different issues with websites that just make it a bit harder for me to you know go for that one we get a much higher volume of leads when we use lead forms um but the main reasons why i think lead forms work for us and it doesn't work for a lot of martial arts schools is because we put a lot of effort into getting back to the leads very very quickly so i've already covered that when you use a lead form people's interest levels are lower than you know if you send them through to your, to your website and all that stuff which means we need to catch them a lot quicker so we need to get back to them a lot quicker so when a lead comes through just to give you an understanding we have automations in place that text the lead and email the lead as soon as they come through so we're catching them at the height of that interest i think that is incredibly incredibly important if you're going to take anything from today um it's going to be either come and speak to us about how we, how you do that or go on youtube look look at look at videos you know learn how to use zapier and things like that and learn a figure out a way to get back to your leads as quickly as physically possible catch them when they're at the height of that interest um lead forms as i said actually allow us a feedback loop which means we're going to have conversations with people and yes some of them might end negatively but at least we find out why they can't come to our classes are they too far away um is it that the days that we have classes just don't work for them is that a consistent thing that keeps coming up and you know we can make the necessary changes you know to maybe address that issue if we're just sending people to the website people aren't booking in we don't know why they weren't booking in um, and then another thing is that it can actually be integrated with our system um, so follow-ups through text and emails can be seamless so as i mentioned then obviously you can look into using something like um zapier as well if you wanted to so zapier is a pretty simple one not very complex you can look on youtube about how to use zapier to send automated messages um and just follow up with your leads as quickly as physically possible 
Um, and you can even set it on some systems where you can just consistently follow up with people. So for example, when we follow up with our clients leads, we follow up seven or eight times before we leave them alone. Now, if you were manually sending those text messages, you'd probably send one, maybe two, and then you just haven't got the time because you've got more leads coming through. By automating the follow up process after the leads come through, we can have the best of both worlds. We can have high volume. We can capture them instantly. So we can send a message straight away while they're at the height of that interest. And then we can continue to message them until they actually reply and then have the conversation with them. We've noticed that we have a lot less time wasters by contacting people really, really quickly. Cool. That's that's literally everything. That is the, the entire presentation. So my name's Donovan. As I said, we work with martial arts schools and we, we help them grow. There's a link in the description if you want to see a little bit more about how we actually help martial arts schools grow. I'm not fussed if you click it all the way. I just made this video to serve you guys and, and hopefully help you um, on your journey with growing your martial arts school. So cool. I'm going to end it now. Have a nice day.